This is rebirth. This is life for our, our, our familia of this world. Out of the ashes rises a new beginning for the St. Raphael, Nicholas and Irene Greek Orthodox Church. After a fire devastated the Palm Harbor House of Worship back in 2014. Tears because my son had just gotten baptized a few weeks before. Anna Constantine is a faithful parishioner and says the structure that burned to the ground was actually a converted home, but sanctified nonetheless. I felt cleansed. I felt clarity. I felt warmth from just walking through those doors. And it wasn't a glorious building like what I'm standing in. It was a house, but it was blessed. And now the church community has been blessed yet again, this time beyond measure, with its replacement built on the same grounds. It is a miracle, but the word that we want to get out is it belongs to Tampa Bay. It belongs to everyone. This multi-million dollar traditional Byzantine style church is far from their humble beginnings. In fact, there's only one other church like it in the country. Not only that, once complete, will be one of the strongest storm shelters in the Tampa Bay area. This is a place of refuge for people to come. It's a beautiful architectural piece, something that you don't typically see in the United States. It's the first of its kind. Everything you see, from the windows, to the marble, to the wood, even the construction workers, all from Greece, even the church's captivating presence is authentic. This is a destination. This is Palm Harbor's Disney World. During the rebuild, the church's congregation has gathered everywhere, from an old steakhouse to a library. Irene Koulianos says after the fire, not only did her faith remain, but so did the holy relics of their saints, one of the only things left untouched by the fire. It's the work of um, the Holy Spirit, if you will, because we, were, we weren't capable of doing something like this. <laughs> But the new Revere Road Sanctuary does have a call for the community. Quiliano says they're asking for donations to finish bringing their vision to life with the goal of opening in January of 2020. We have a saying in Greek and I love it. It's called fasuli fasuli yemizi sakuli. That means bean by bean, the bag gets full. So there's no donation that's too small. In Palm Harbor, Serafina Brooks, 8 on your side.